Hey guys, this is Daniel from iPhone4.com here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of iOS 4 for the iPhone, iPod, and iPad. So I'm going to do a quick review, guys, of the new features. There's supposedly 100 new features in this iPhone OS, and give you guys a brief overview and kind of suggest if you guys want to update and lose your jailbreak on the 3.0 or update and just sacrifice and wait for the 4.0 jailbreak. So let's get into it. The first feature we're going to be going over is multitasking. This has been a feature wanted from a lot of users on the iPhone ever since probably Prince launch. Multitasking allows you to open applications and run applications in the background, meaning that you can have more than one application open and have seamlessly moved through it and have it work very fast. Now I'm going to open up the multitasking taskbar by double and it will show the backgrounded applications. Um, I currently have all these applications backgrounded and you can close backgrounded applications by holding your home, uh, finger on one of them and touching the little void icon. Sorry guys, I'm a little stupid. Just like that. And you can confirm it by tapping the home button. So now I have all these applications that are running in the background. I can switch into them seamlessly just by holding the home button. So to leave the application, you just press the home button and it's still ring in the background. But to quit it completely, you guys need to actually go in there and quit it. Um, so I'm going to open up my mail app. Now let's say I want to go into Safari. And then I'm going to go back into, oops. I want to go back into mail. And it's that great, guys. It's that seamless. So Apple really accomplished great things with multitasking. It does not wear down your battery, which is a number one thing Apple was aiming for in creating multitasking. So the next thing I'm going to be going over, guys, is the player. When this player will allow you to play from your music. Um, it will also allow you to play from Pandora or any other application that uses the API of this multitasking player. Over here you guys will see a little icon where it is a circle which allows you to lock it in portrait mode. You can unlock it or you can lock it. This allows you to, during applications, you can lock it into portrait mode and you guys don't want it to go in the landscape if it gets annoying. So it's a really cool feature Apple added. Uh, so that's multitasking guys on the iOS 4. The next feature I'm going to be going over is folders, which is a great way to organize your applications. So the way it works is you guys literally drag an application over another one and it will organize it into a folder. So that one named it Lifestyle because it was on that category. You can take them out. You can rename it by doing that. You can rename it by typing the X and doing DP. I'm going to name it DP because I don't know. Or do. I'm going to name it DO. Um, I can also take it out and make it still one app, um, app individual apps again. Apple mentioned that now you can have 2,162 applications on your device with all the applications filling the folders. So trust me, you guys will never want to have space for apps anymore if your iPod or iPhone can actually handle that much. So the next thing I'm going over, guys, is the mail app improvements. I'm so glad that Apple finally improved the mail app because it was lacking a lot of great features, and they finally updated it. We'll go into the mail app, and you guys will first see that it says all inboxes. They finally found a way to incorporate both email accounts into one inbox so Apple finally incorporated that feature. They also incorporated threading which allows you to see conversations between you and the receiver communicating between that person which makes it a lot easier to see what people are talking about when they email you. So that is an also new fe cool feature Apple added to the mail app. Uh, the new iOS 04, iOS 4 will now include iBooks. It is not currently on the firmware itself. You need to download from the App Store. But currently they have not released the iPhone version. So it's currently not on this device since it hasn't been publicly released. But it will be on this device when it comes out. Which will be in a couple weeks. So make sure to get it when it comes out because it's on the App Store. The next feature Apple added into the new iOS 4 was the ability to create playlists right off your device. And not genius playlists, but actual playlists. So you can go into the playlist tab and create a new playlist by just adding in a title and then adding music straight into it. Pretty self-explanatory. So this has finally been brought to the device. I don't know why it took them so long, but they just finally brought it. Okay, the next feature I'm going to be going over is faces and places in photos. Um, literally taken right off the website. So I'm going to open up the photos application and you can now view your faces and pictures of people that you've marked in iPhoto. I currently have iPhoto 08 so I do not have faces enabled so I can't really show you guys that feature but Apple did add the new organization of albums to events 
so Apple finally came in with those two tabs so that was a cool little thing Apple added so that's pretty much the iPhoto um, application on the iPhone or Apple Touch um, the next thing you can note is now spell checking Apple has now finally incorporated spell checking into the device which is an awesome feature Apple finally came with so when you're typing the email it will give you suggestions of what you try to do but if it doesn't if it's a wrong one it will give you suggestions so that's a cool feature Apple's finally incorporated and the next one main feature is wireless keyboard support which allows you to connect to a Bluetooth keyboard via or via or you guys want to say it Bluetooth so you guys can now type emails on your device if you have a Bluetooth keyboard so guys those are the main features of iOS 4 um, you guys may expect these other two features on the iPhone 3GS and the iPod, iPhone 4 you guys will expect 5x digital zoom which is going to be a great feature and tap to focus which will be allowing you to focus the camera or video into a certain point which will be a new incorporation of iOS 4. Now guys these are just one couple of the many um, features of Apple is incorporated into the iOS 4 and there's probably tons more guys that you probably don't find enjoying and love having. So guys that is the main features of iOS 4. Hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys want to get a early release of it make sure to check our tutorial on how to get it link in the description of how to get it right now and restore it in iTunes please remember that that tutorial is only for Mac only not for PC so catch you guys in the next video and hope you enjoyed the video and peace out